Hey guys, it's Loris and we are doing a new video series today. We are going to start doing the castle. I haven't done the castle in about two years. So I was thinking as I was looking around the Commonwealth, I was kind of figuring out what next the build going to be. That was not English. <laughs> but what I was going to choose to build for the channel. And so I was looking around and I came across the, the uh, castle. I thought that would be a really good idea because I haven't built there in so long and it looked like crap from what I left it because I tried years and years ago to make it look really nice but my talents weren't that great and well they still aren't but <laughs> but yeah I didn't do very well so I demolished everything that I built there and started anew and also I thought with the fact that we have concrete now that I can make the walls out of concrete rather than doing the flooring if that makes any sense because years ago everyone was doing their tutorial on how to quote unquote fix the castle walls and they used the wooden flooring which had concrete at the bottom and that's how they fixed it so instead of that I was going to use just wooden flooring and then connect the concrete walls to them and it saves I think it saves on concrete Hopefully. I haven't tested it out, but with this for an example, this little bit here, there's like quite a lot of room and you can make a room out of that rather than covering up with flooring. So that's what I'm doing. I'm thinking of making this into maybe another entrance or an armory. I'm going to leave that up to you. I'm going to make maybe a poll on what kind of stuff we can make. But I need you guys to help me out in the comments down below. So I need you guys to figure out what kind of buildings we can put, what kind of shops. Um, yeah, it's like all loads of stuff that we can put into this building. Because what I'm planning is that I want to make this into a city kind of thing. It's, my frame rate's going to die, but uh, my favourite build I've ever done is... Uh, what's it called? Hangman's Alley. That was my favourite and I love the look of it. I love how kind of cramped it is, how everything kind of joins onto each other. So I'm planning on making that a like a big version of that in the castle. So <laughs> we'll see how we go. And yeah, it's gonna be like load neon lights and all that. So in this episode all we are doing is fixing the walls with concrete instead of the flooring. And we are making the entrance. Mainly for the fact that I want you guys to figure out, and it can be like figure out the next kind of build we can do in this series. And I'd love to make this into kind of a community community project, so you guys can have each of your own little buildings, maybe. So yeah, I'm gonna maybe make a Discord. I'm not quite sure because I've noticed everyone's been doing that, <laughs> so I might make a Discord and make. A little section where you guys can put different building ideas and what the names will be. Later on when I do the actual entrance I put a little, I can't remember the name of it but it's like that glow up, glow up, well light up kind of, I swear it's called like a marquee or something but um, oh those are the floorings that everybody used to fix them. I just put it here because it seemed like um, just flooring and concrete wouldn't really work there. But anyway, as I was saying, um, I put like a bit where it said what you could find or things to go and see inside the castle. So I imagine like in this apocalypse kind of world, people have made like a little bit of a kind of a diamond city, a little community, a little town where people could survive, live, and they'll be safe behind big walls. So that, that's the plan anyway, rather than making it kind of a military base like most people have. Obviously for the fact that it is a military kind of base, but yeah, I'm going to see how we go with this. Uh, this is going to be the entrance. I think everybody uh, made this into the opening part to enter into the castle. So I do what I did with the concrete and the flooring. And instead of making an opening at the bottom, because when I did this first years ago, when it, I first tried to make the castle look 
somewhat decent. Um, I made the, did the flooring, and then I kind of had like this small little opening right at the bottom where you could see all of the rubble and you'd have to kind of walk in this little cramped area just to get in and I thought that looked really, I, I used to think that looked like cool but nowadays no, that's, <laughs> that's not up to par. So instead I did what I did earlier and make this little kind of hideaway bit where you'd have to kind of step up going through this little area and then you come into the the castle sea <laughs> yeah I need you guys to figure out a name for this place so if you guys definitely want to see a discord server then I will definitely make one I'll put it up on Twitter and on my future videos just so you guys can find the link and join up if you're not already joined but yeah, so I'd like to find out what you guys think of the entrance. I'm really happy with it. I think that there's there's lots more to do in the front area, but I just didn't, I just wanted this video out and that's something that I can do in my free time, just, you know, on my own. Because it's, it's not really a major bit to build, if you know what I mean. They're only like small little areas. And there's nothing like grand or nothing you can really make a video on. So yeah, I'll do that in my free time. So we are doing the entrance right now. This is just going to be a kind of reception area, if that makes sense. So what you do is that if you want to join in on this little city here, you have to go through the front desk. They'll have to check you in, they'll have to do a background check. They'll have to make sure that any weapons that aren't theirs would have to go into the lockers you'd have to make sure that you have no radiation i should really put i have speaking of that i have no radiation arc i should really put that in <laughs> but yeah um i have to remind myself to do that so yeah they will check you in make sure you are sane make sure you won't put the castle into any kind of predicament where it would hurt everybody so that's the idea and also it's security so any kind of attack they will find out first as well as on top of the castle walls what i used to do is that on the side bits like when you look at the castle there's five i think there's five points where you can put the i forgot the name of it but it's like it reminds me of a cannonball <laughs> but it's not um i forgot the word but anyway you can i used to put guard posts so i made like two by two rooms and then i stacked that on top of each other and then i made like a bigger square <laughs> at the top to where it wouldn't be security actually it would um end up being shops so each of the major shops will have its own top area I hope I'm making sense because in my mind I'm not but it's worth a shot saying it anyway <laughs> but if you guys think that would be a good idea then I will try that but I'm thinking of making that more into a security than the shops this area speaking of security is going to be the main area where people where the main kind of security people will hide away and um, sleep there are four beds in this little area and there are some workbenches, there's power armor, and on either side of the building, there is a military guard post. So yeah, they've got everything decked out. I could have made a second story, but the little bit that I'm gonna do here is just for looks, because I, I really think that it looks cool from down below. That sounded dirty, but, <laughs> but yeah, it looks really cool. I'm really proud of it. But I would have done lots more, but I wanted to make this video fairly short. I say short, but I'm pretty sure it's like in the 20 area. Um, so, but any longer it would have been just a chore to watch. So I hope you guys are liking it so far. I did cut out most of the furnishing. I feel like watching people furnish stuff might be a bit boring for you guys. I like furnishing at times, I just, I would do wish that sometimes that I could have more items to use because most people are using mods for the items but 
my PS4 is it's fine it's just the way that you know you can log into your PSN I can't do that for some reason I don't know why it's it's messed up and I have made a new account on there to where it's linked up it knows my name it's you know everything's dandy but the thing is that I don't have my save on there so I have two accounts one that doesn't you know log in but has all my saves all my characters all these buildings that I love and I have the new one that is signed in but doesn't oh, it's a nightmare and also I've signed in but the little mod area where you download mods it's still greyed out it won't let me press on it so I, I'm not really sure what's going on with my PS4 to be honest so there is not really any chance for mods for me which sucks but I'm I'm so used to not using them that when I use them it's really just I don't know it's out of my comfort zone and there's too many buildings I don't know it, <laughs> making no sense but maybe you guys can understand that so right now I am doing the kind of reception check-in area there was a few little um, issues I had um, the first issue was putting these desks in. Now putting them in was completely fine, but putting stuff on them just doesn't work. I'm not really sure why they did that. It kind of sucks at the fact that you can't pick up a flower pot and put them on a table. You have to glitch. Um, you have to glitch it on, and that that really sucks. I don't know um, because in in certain mods you can place like junk and all that and I, I wish I could but it's all up to trying to figure everything out and it makes it more difficult and I really love that I love the challenge okay so right now I am showing you how I placed certain items onto the desk I did try and do my old tutorial so if you want to check out how I put the little mushroom lights onto tables then I have a tutorial that I put down in the description if I remember it's a really old tutorial but um, helpful anyway so what I did instead of doing that because for some reason plopping them from above if you haven't seen the tutorial that would make no sense <laughs> but um, instead of doing that you'd have to do the pillar glitch and put it in that way because it just it doesn't connect and even when you've glitched them on top of it, you can still move the desk away from it and the items will still stay, stay hovering above. So yeah, you just keep that in mind if you do want to um, cover them on the top. So we're right now we are just doing a little staircase. This is not going to be the final thing. I kind of I like the way this goes up because I, I was so annoyed trying to find ways to get up to the top like walking all the way to the other side and then taking the stairs so I want to make a little staircase and it make more sense to place them there anyway because if there was an issue in the reception area then the security people could just run down the stairs and take care of it so it makes more sense like that it was really easy to do there was a bit of um, testing and you know trial and error as you can see here it just wasn't snapping but certain, like if you stand certain areas that it does, you just gotta have some patience with building in this kind of way. But don't worry guys, if you don't like the stairs right now, then it can always be changed. It's just kind of a placeholder for now, just so I can get up to the top and to the bottom. So this is how I do the bunk, be oh, bunk beds. Uh, so I place one of the, uh, it's, these, these beds are the best to use for these kind of things because of the long bottom area and the top so all you gotta do is kind of hover them up from the pillar glitch and just place them in like that I did that with the exact same side and to make them even I placed um, I moved one inside and lined them up with the top one so they were same the same kind of level and then just placed them on so this is just kind of like the general area so this is where if you wanted to quickly trade instead of going inside you can do that it's just a small little area 
and I think it looks really nice in the end, especially with all the lanterns because I didn't want to use any power outside of the castle walls. I'm not really sure why, but it seemed like it would kind of make it look more of a spectacle, if that makes any sense. So you'd have just lanterns and fire outside and then suddenly bright and colourful lights are inside. So yeah, that's the idea. So all I'm doing is placing lots of different wall sconces and lanterns to kind of light up the place at night and this is what it looks like. I think it looks really homely. And don't worry if you think it looks pretty kind of barren at the moment. Uh, that's the idea because I want to add more in my spare time. So anyway, this is the little um, marquee, I think that's how you say it, area where I will put some of the main areas which you guys have figured out. And I'm just powering up the area first and then I'm going to put some street lights on either side. I feel like it needed a bit more light just to kind of show off. So yeah, this is what I meant. There's only five areas so they are going to be five main points to go and sightsee. I might try, if there's any more that I'd like, so if you guys suggest more than five and I really like like loads more or something like that then I will try and make maybe another marquee or something like that and offer there are more places than just five to go. So I'm just putting some posters because I like the way they look. I can only put two there and then I make a little area at the bottom. So instead of where the flag is currently I put a little area there. So you, you'll see that in a second because I'm making no sense. <laughs> so I'm just glitching the street lights into the floor because they kind of hover a little bit if you notice them and there's a lot of rubble there so I all I did is just kind of move them bottom move them bottom move them down <laughs> and also just to mention it now I did place one of those the Bunker Hill trading post I thought it looked really nice and it'd be kind of a good idea to put it there but as I was building there was just constantly Brahmin in the way and constantly people sitting down and it was a nightmare so I removed it in the end but I might place it back maybe somewhere out of the way because I, I like the way that it looks and I like the whole you know the trading post and the store and it really looks like the area is alive and it's bumping and it's you know it's an actual big city where people would go bring their brahmin bring their trading stuff bring their weapons i don't know and it looks like it works if that makes sense so this is a little area that i was just mentioning badly <laughs> because it looked like that area just kind of it seemed empty to me and i didn't like the way that just a flag there looked this little area here is kind of like one of the traders came along and kind of built their little um, home <laughs> but inside I made it kind of like a drug den so um, chem users would go and buy chems and chill out there. I'm not really sure why I did that but it seemed like an area which would be kind of annoyingly outside of a city so they can't come in because they're dirty chem users and so they rebel and make their little home right outside the walls and upset people who are trying to just live their life and the guards constantly try and get them out but they just won't move so I thought that would be kind of a little funny law area to place in but we're coming to the tour now. It's only a small little tour, obviously, because it's just the entrance. So here we are. I do hope you like it. I'm going to light that little castle up ahead sign. <laughs> but yes, this is only the entrance. So hopefully you will like it and I will see you in the next video. Hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, or night. And I will see you again soon. Bye, guys.